Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev here, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about navigation bars in Bootstrap. If you haven't used Bootstrap yet, you need to go check it out. It's twitter.github.com slash bootstrap, and it has a lot of very useful styles for your web development, uh, a lot of useful JavaScript plugins just built into it. It's really an amazing uh, framework. It's licensed under the Apache License version 2.0. Just go to the website, read through the documentation, and uh, give it a download. I think you'll, I think you'll really like it. So I've got a little page already written with, you know, nothing in it, and I'm importing the Bootstrap uh, CSS file. There's also a JavaScript file, but we're just loading in the CSS for this example. All we're going to need out of this are some styles. Uh, to begin, I'm just going to create a couple of divs. Um, I'm going to start with a navbar class to div, and then inside of that, we're going to put a navbar inner div. So inside of this navbar inner is where our actual navigation items are going to live. Now, uh, Bootstrap does offer a style called brand for creating uh, sort of a website brand at the uh, at the top inside of your navigation bar. I usually use an image uh, for mine because I usually want some colors or maybe a, a logo for the website. But I will I will use that brand here just to show you how it works. So I'm going to create a uh, just an anchor that doesn't really go anywhere. We're going to give it a class of brand. I'm going to call this my brand. So to build our actual uh, navigation items. We're going to use an unordered list and on, we're going to set the class of that unordered list to nav. So I'm going to drop in one list item. I'm going to give it a class of active because this is the first um, the, sort of the, the first navigation item and by giving it that active um, status that means it's going to show up as you know the one that's currently selected. So I'm going to drop in uh, an anchor pointing back to my index and I'm just going to call this page one close out my anchor, close out my list item. I'm going to drop a couple of other list items on here as well I'll get rid of the active class for the other two because they're not active put this one at page two which I've already got written and page three which I already have written so that's really it. We've got a couple of divs, a navigation uh, bar created by this unordered list inside of those divs. And let's take a look at what it looks like. I'm going to open up my index file. As you can see, we've got this really, really nice looking navigation bar just at the top of the screen. Uh, this is the brand I was telling you about. Uh, but this is the active uh, list item here. And then here's our other two uh, inactive list items. So if I click through to these guys, you know, that active is changing on page two and page three. And it really flows nicely, and uh, it's really some great styles. So we also have available to us uh, sort of an in, what they call an inverse style. Uh, on our main wrapper, I'm going to give it a navbar inverse class. And that's basically going to invert the colors of this navbar. Let me add that to these other pages as well. So if I do a refresh here, so they just turn you know black with, with white and gray text. So it's really that easy to create a nice looking nav bar with uh, with Bootstrap. I hope, uh, hope you learned a little bit from this. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, like it, favorite it, share it, and uh, subscribe. I'm going to have some more coming through uh, very, very soon on this. Thanks guys for watching.